Why are we interested in uh, the impact? Yeah. When, when we smell a perfume, when we, when we smell a perfume, are we smelling the liquid? Are we smelling the perfume? It's a trick question, sort of. It's not really a trick question at all. It's the, he it's the head space above it, yeah. It's, it's the area above that we smell, yeah? It's not the liquid. The liquid never gets into our nose. Only the gaseous part, the vapor, is the stuff that gets into our nose. So what the impact does for us is tells us how much gets into the headspace. So let's say I got myself a little beaker, a little pot, and I bought 20%, and I'll just do it one, one, and one, 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 and one of linalol, uh, PA, cis three, hexanol, sandalwood, and isoamyl acetate. That liquid never goes into my nose. The only thing that goes into my nose is the headspace. So what is in the headspace? Chemicals, specifically these ones. Yeah? How much is in the headspace? I want something a bit more concrete than that. What would this, what would this perfume smell like? I saw M Lasta and green mostly, because the impact, yeah? So actually, the impact 100, 60, 700, 25, 800. 1 times 100, we'd have linalol, 100 parts, PA, help me, <laughs> cis hexanol, 700, 700, sandalwood, 25, Isoamyl acetate, 800. So now we have a fruity green perfume with a little bit of floral nest from the linalol and the PEA and a tiny amount of sandalwood. Well, it's a combination of, of vapor pressure, how easily they evaporate, and also the odor response to them. Yeah? Yeah. So, um, so some of this work has been done before using only vapor pressures, but vapor pressures actually don't tell you anything in the end of the day. Yeah? Yeah. Because you do, it depends on how we perceive those smells as well. So, let's say I wanted to make this perfume so that the headspace was evenly distributed. So there was one, one, and one in the headspace instead of this ratio. How would I do it? This is my target. I want to make 20% linalol in the headspace. 20% sandalwood, 20% PEA, 20% cisri hexanol, yeah, so that I have a nicer smell. How would, what do I need to do? 
So, so alter, alter these quantities, yeah? <coughs> well, you have to, wouldn't you use ISO as the marker for? I'll start with linalol as 100. So I've got one of linalol to get 100. How much of PEA would I have to get to get 100? 70. No, 70, 1.7. Yeah? 1.7. About. 1.7 times 60 is... 102, so yeah, about 1.7. So how many would I need of cis 3 hexanol? Well, one seventh of 100. One seventh of 100, which is about 0.14, thank you. Mathematician. <laughs> 0.14 of cis 3 hexanol. And how about the sandwood? I want 100, 100 odor units, if you like. Four. Four. four, yeah? So four times 25 gives me 100. And isoamyl acetate? This is an easy one. This is an easy one. 0.125. Yeah. <laughs> 0.125. And that would give me <coughs> a much more interesting perfume. Yeah? yeah you have affected the relative vapor pressure, not Well, not so much the vapor pressure. You've, it's the impact. It's, it's you've, you've balanced the impacts. By, by putting in more. Yeah, by putting in more. Yeah, you balance the impacts so that you have an even distribution of smells. It might not, it might not be a nice smell, yeah? But it wouldn't just be one, one of those smells. It would be a balance between all of those smells. Yeah? So headspace is, is not the liquid. It's not just the impact of a single material. And it's not what's on the label. Impact is a function of the concentration and the impact of each material. So that's the concentration, that's the impact of indiv individual materials, and then that's the result that we get for the headspace. So if I only had these five materials and I wanted to make a rose perfume, what would I do? Anybody notice? Which, which material was rosy? Anybody notice? PA, yeah, yeah. So I'd need an awful lot of PA. So may I'm, I wouldn't want, maybe I want 20 of PEA, yeah? Yeah, so that I get 1,200 here. Yeah, now I have a rose perfume. Yeah, with a little bit of fruitiness and a sandalwood bottom note. Does anybody realize the significance of this in terms of a new material that you find? In terms of a new material. Let's say now I give you a completely new material, smells of bananas. Very often the question from a student is, how do I use this material? How much do I need to use? You, don't ask, you never have to ask this question again. Because if you only want 1% of the banana smell in your headspace, which is what counts, you just have to look at the impact yeah, to work out how much you need. Have you given us the list of the averages of... On software. software. Yeah, it's on software, because it's just too many. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this, this answers... Yeah, if, so you, if you get a new material now, yeah, and Tomorrow you'll have 700 of them out, yeah? yeah? You don't need to ask me how much to use. You just have to look at the impact and how much you need in the headspace. <coughs> Sorry? No. So how do you find out what the impact is? 
<laughs> That's the point. Depend on your nose. Although I, although the software has some, some values, what counts is is your nose. Yeah. So believe yourself. Okay. Yeah, please. So you've just written this system on the board, lovely. Yep. Well, no, I, th I think every, every perfumer takes relative impact into account, but he's never put it down on paper as a value. That's all. That's, that's the only difference. Is that, so you smell cystery hexanol, you think, wow, that's strong. I better only use a little bit of it. So you've, you've used exactly that system, but you just haven't got a value for it. Yeah. But if you have a value for it, you don't have to do like a hundred experiments to get there. Oh, yeah, it's very strong, but I put one drop in there of the fruity and it completely spoiled my perfume yesterday. Yeah? Because you now have a value that says, oh, this impact is like 600. So maybe I only need, uh, maybe a 10% solution would be better. So what you're saying is if you use this system, you can basically shortcut. You shortcut, yes. Yeah. 